All right. So now we're going to do section 7.4. This section is about two specific forms of the equation for a line. So remember, if we have anything like um, 3x plus 7y equals 2x plus 5y minus 3, that's an equation. It's a relationship between the x and the y. And I can solve it. I can put in um, x values and solve for the y values. Um, and if I do that for a bunch of different x's and get out a bunch of different y's, it'll make a line. I know it's a line because it's just got x's and y's. No squares, no square roots, no exponents, um, just x's and y's, so it's a line. But this is an awful form of an equation. So there's two specific forms um, that the book wants you to know. And these are pretty common. The first one is called the slope-intercept form of a line. And that is y equals mx plus b. Now, we've already seen this one quite a bit. We've used it many times in the uh, section 7.1 or 7.1 and 7.2. This m is the slope, and this b is the y-intercept. The reason they want you to know this and the reason this is so common is because it's really, really easy to use. So recall we had one before um, that was, you know, y equals, um, I don't know, let's say, let me make something up, 2 thirds x minus 1. Okay, now if I want to know the slope of this, I would find two points on the line, and then I would do that slope thing with the four parentheses, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Um, so let's just do that real quick. This is the hard way of doing it, but uh, we'll see what how this works out in the end. So first give me, yeah, if I do... Um, Zero for x, that's always the easiest. So here's a point. x is zero. If x is zero, this goes away, and y is minus one. Beautiful. And another point would be, let's make x six. Six divided by three is two times two is four minus one is three. If I plug in x is 6, let me double check that. Yeah, that's right. If I plug in x is 6, I get out y equals 3. Now to find the slope, I do this thing where I do parentheses, 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 minus, minus, xy, xy, which is minus 1 minus 3 is minus 4 over minus 6. Minus over minus is plus 4 over 6 reduces to 2 thirds. 2 thirds look familiar? Eh? Eh? It's the same number. It turns out this is always the case. That's why they write y equals mx plus b. That's the slope. But what about this b? Well, this b is the y-intercept, it says. What does the y... Or, well, remember that the y-intercept means when x equals 0. And look, I did it right there. When x equals 0 this thing will go away and I get out minus 1. Same thing with anything that's here. If x equals 0, that goes away, so I get the point 
0 comma b always, right? x equals 0 makes that go away, so I'll always have the point 0 comma b, and I know that's the y-intercept. That makes this form of the equation for a line really, really easy to use. So let's just do some here. Uh, let me... I want to leave that. I'm going to erase this. Okay. So, let me make one up. Y equals um, negative 4 fifths x minus 3. Okay, Lizelle, tell me what is the slope? Correct! The slope is just the number in front of x, in this case minus 4 fifths. And Estella, what is the y-intercept? Yes, exactly. It's minus 3, so the y-intercept, so b equals minus 3, so the y-intercept is the point 0, comma, minus 3. Perfect! Okay, this is really easy to use. Now I'm just going to graph this line. Watch how easy it is to graph. There's my x and y. The y-intercept is 0 minus 3, so that means down 1, 2, 3. There's the y-intercept. That's the starting point for my line. And the rule is I go right 5 and up negative 4, or right 5 and down 4. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and down 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's the slope. The y-intercept, the b, tells me where I start on the y-axis. The slope tells me my rule. I just follow the rule, and I just graphed that line. Super easy to use. This slope-intercept form is really, really nice. Um, it makes graphing and interpreting the lines super easy. Other one. Any questions on this? Yeah, you can't ask. <laughs> All right. The other form of a line they want you to know is because many times you're not given just the y-intercept, you're given a slope, but just some arbitrary point. So you're just given a slope and you're given a point, so they call this the point-slope uh, equation for a line. And this one is y minus y1 equals mx minus x1. Yeesh. Looks complicated, and it can be. Not nearly as easy as the slope-intercept form, but sometimes you don't have, you know, the choice if you're just given a point. So basically, this is how you use this one. So um, let's draw. Let's find the equation of the line through. Uh, let's say two comma three with slope. One, negative one-third. Okay. 
Here's what I here's what it is. It's y minus equals m. Now, let me just write it out. The y value in my point is three. M is minus one third. X minus the X value I'm given is two. That's it. You can solve that for Y if you want to. To put it into um, slope intercept form, you get Y equals, I'm going to distribute the one third, minus one third X plus two thirds. Take this minus three, put it to the other side. Eh, so y equals minus one third x plus, this is nine thirds plus eleven thirds. Did I do that right? You don't have to do this. This is the, this is the answer right here. But these are two ways of stating the exact same line. Let's do another one of those. So a line with slope negative four fifths through the point, uh, I don't know, negative two comma zero. No, not zero. Yeah, zero is fine. All right. Same thing, y minus the y value I'm given equals m, parentheses, x minus the x value I'm given. This I can get rid of, take care of the double negative, so I get y equals negative 4 fifths x plus 2. Pretty simple, pretty easy to use. Um, not exactly good looking or easy to remember, but all right. Okay, and that's it. That is it for section 7.4. So do the homeworks on section seven. They are due Thursday, and I will see you guys next Tuesday.